Hi everyone, my name is James Misfelt and I'm an Esri instructor. Today I want to talk about the update features with Incident Records, also known as Import Incidents tool, that's a part of the Crime Analysis Solution for ArcGIS Pro. If you're not familiar, the Crime Analysis Solution is a free add-in for ArcGIS Pro that updates the interface and also adds in extra tools and capabilities that can really streamline a lot of your GIS work. Uh, one of my favorite tools is what we're going to talk about today. That's the import incidents tool. Now, traditionally, the, the typical workflow for getting tabular data onto your map is to use coordinates or geocode addresses to make a new feature class from that tab tabular data. But sometimes you might have tabular information. Maybe you have a, a database kind of collecting records that you want to add to an existing spatial data set. And that's what the import incidents tool can really streamline for you. So if we look at our map, we're here in New Orleans, Louisiana, and we've got uh, a spatial layer on our map called call sample XY. I've got a tabular data set here called call sample. Um, this call sample data set has been updated. There's another feature that we collected um, over here in this area of New Orleans. And actually, if we look at this feature here, I'm going to click on it to get the pop up. What you'll see is the type text says return for more info. And we've done that. We've gone back. We have some more information that's been reflected in our table. Uh, I'm going to go to my crime analysis tab and I'm going to choose import incidents. For my input table, I'm going to grab that call sample table. My target features are my call sample XY data set. I'm going to make sure that my coordinate system matches uh, what's on the map. And now check this out. I'm going to take this one step further by checking this box here called update existing target features. When I do this, I'm able to take an ID field from my tabular data set and my spatial data set. In this case, I've got this NLPD item field. And that's going to match features in the table, so rows in that table, to features on my map. And let's see what happens when I run this tool. All right, the tool successfully ran. And what you can see here is that new feature that I was looking for has been added to the map. And if I click the pop-up, for a feature I was hoping to update. The type text indeed does not say uh, return for more info. Instead, it says traffic incident. So I know what kind of call that was. All right, now you've seen how you can use the import incidents tool to, again, streamline updating your spatial data from tabular data. Thanks, everyone.